Hello, this video is going to highlight a website called whiteboard.chat. What this site is, is basically a free whiteboard for you and your students. And not only does it give you the option to collaborate, but you can also send a separate board out, an individual board out to all of your students. So if I go to the website, whiteboard.chat, and I select start drawing, it gives me a couple options right off the bat. One, it's ask for enter classroom code. This is what I'm gonna have students when they go to whiteboard.chat, they're gonna enter my classroom code. Now, with that being said, my students do not need a login to get into my class. They just need to enter my code. If I want to save boards and prepare boards ahead of time, I do need a login and an account, but I do not have to have one. I can just automatically start teaching, which will give each individual student their own board to work in, and I can push stuff out to them or I can start collaborating and I can bring multiple people onto the same board with me. So because I have a board pre-prepared, I want to go to my manage boards, which means I'm gonna sign in with my Google account. And it brings up my previous board that I had saved. So I'm gonna click on the I here and go into my board. So now that I'm in the board, um, this is what it looks like. It gives me a, a little bit of an infinite whiteboard, move right to left, up, down. But there are so many tools in here and features. Um, I could probably spend 45 minutes going over each individual one, but I'm just gonna highlight a couple things. And if you like it, then you can explore. So the first thing I like to do is change my name um, to my teacher name, Mrs. Cotton and then invite my students. So remember, I already have the board set up, so I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna give them this code. I can also copy this and send this out via my LMS. Um, if I have iPads, I can airdrop this to them, whatever, you know, whatever I wanna do. As you can see, I've had two students join me. If I wanna see what their board looks like, I click on this grid view. And I have my board, and then I have student two, Tupac, and student three, Biggie. If I wanna go back to just my board, I go back to single view, and then this way I can write on here. If I wanna go back and see what they're doing, I go back to grid view. So for right now, um, there's a couple tools here just to get you started. And the, um, you know, you see I have this scroll bar over here, but the immediate one is I can draw. So if I wanted to put something on here, it's on here automatically, and I can also see it appear on my students as well. When I come back into my single view, I have all kinds of options over here. If I wanna work on writing, I have college line paper, coordinate planes, so I have all kinds of stuff. Even if I'm doing um, a music class and I wanna put sheets on here, I can actually even come over to the paintbrush over here and instead of math, I can go to music and select what I wanna stick and where I wanna place it. So I can easily do whatever I want to here um, with different tools. You know, I have all kinds of tools over here on there. I can mess with money, you got chemistry, um, emojis and stickers, thinking maps. And I really like the widgets because I can put a spinner here. So this is my move and resize so I can move it where I want to. Um, but on this spinner, this is where I can change this. So I can place Tupac's name here and I can put Biggie in here. Um, I can say students can spin or I can sync all student spins. Um, and update this so I have two students and then if I want to spin it I can spin it now if I go back to grid view at this point you know the the spinner is on their boards as well so they can see um, I also have clock and I have um, die that I can put on their boards as well so that was real quick just over here you got your tools you can change colors of your tools. You have all kinds of different options over here, um, even manipulatives, if you wanna put manipulatives on here and create them. You have all kinds of tools. You also, um, this wrench is where you'll find other tools where you can add all kinds of stuff. So I can add a shape, I can select stuff, line, arrow, math type, a pointer, 
just all kinds of stuff I can put on here for students. And I can push it out to them if I want to or not want to. So going to the next page, what's really nice is I can go to the next page and I already have this pre prepared is I already inserted a YouTube video coming down here to my wrench tool. I put a YouTube video in and I also using the palette here, put in a graphic organizer. And if I go to my grid view and I'm on page two, but look, I see that my students didn't follow me. So I would have to make sure that they are on page two as well, and I can make sure that they are with me as I can see their boards change in real time, and I can see what they're doing. And so if my student was writing, and I can see what they're doing in real time, um, and they can fill in, they can put a text box in. I'm just writing little smiley faces so you can see that that's happening in real time. Going back into my single view, if I go on to the next page, I actually inserted using um, the upload file option. This is a PDF I placed right in here. And I can make sure that my students are going on to the next page with me. So I can see that all of my students are on the same page as me. And if I wanted to see a um, student in real time, I'll be able to see that they're doing the absolute value and I can see. One of the really nice things too is if I'm a student and I need help, I can actually raise my hand. There's a little hand feature up here on your student boards. And I can actually raise my hand and it'll give me as the teacher, a notification right away that says, hey, Tupac raised his hand, uh, they need it. They have a question or they need help. But what's really nice is if I go to Tupac's board, I can click right into the board and I can join his board. And so now I'm on here with him. And so this is just a really nice feature if I want to, um, I'm gonna clear this so the hand is down, but I can come in here and actually show him or model him what to do on this page if needed to. Um, and then down here, this changed, I need to go back to my instructor board if I want to go back out of Tupac's board. I can do the same thing um, if Biggie said he's done with everything, he can click I finished and I get a green check mark now instead of a hand. And so I know that Biggie is done. So if I want to, I can actually go back to grid view here. And I can say, okay, I'm going to pop in. I'm going to look and see what he's done. I can join and I can even go use one of my tools over here. And I can give, I can pop an emoji on here so that I know that he's done and I've checked his work. So I'm going to go back to my instructor view. And get rid of these I can clear the hands and if I don't want students playing around I can actually freeze the board um, by clicking this let it snow so there's just so many features on here um, that you could play around with and push out to students I hope you enjoy whiteboard chat I hope it helps you with real-time feedback not only in the classroom but even virtually um, really nice for a concurrent setting. If you're teaching half your kids in class and half your kids at home, you can make it feel like everybody's there with you at the same time.